to dedication to Tom, if you're able to pull that Kanye up. Kanye thing right there? No, no, no. it's something else. I miss okay. the old Kanye. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's go through so this matter. story here. All right, Donald Trump, banned from Colorado ballot in historic ruling by state Supreme Court. The Colorado Supreme Court, in a landmark decision, declared that Trump is disqualified from holding the office of president under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, marking the first ever use of this provision to disqualify a president candidate. The ruling was made in a 4-3 decision by the court's justices, all of whom were appointed by the Demo- by Democratic governors. Weird. Weird. The court overturned a district court judge's ruling that Trump incited an insurrection but questioned whether the provision applied to the presidency. However, the Colorado Supreme Court disagreed, stating that President Trump asks us to hold that Section 3 disqualifies every oath-breaking insurrectionist except the most powerful one, and that is bars, oath, breakers from virtually every office, both state and federal, except the highest one in the land. Uh, Emily, thoughts on this? Quite simple. You don't have to like Trump to acknowledge how scary this is. I don't like your opinion, so I'm going to do everything in my power to censor you. Yeah. Do you see the slippery? It's the slipperiest slope possible. It's like now, because you don't like what this guy has to say, this guy meaning our former president, potentially could be our future president. So we're just going to start you know, manipulating laws and amendments and try to find a way to keep him out of power, even though if he's so bad for the country, don't worry, because people won't vote for him. So it's like whether he wins or loses, let it be fair. Don't don't let him lose because you guys cheated within our own country. It's just it's scary. It's Trump today. It's going to be someone else tomorrow. And then there's no line between who we're censoring and who we're preventing from potentially being our president. It's horrific. And, you know, I think, too, it's like, and I know a lot of people are upset. Yesterday when I saw this, I I was tripping out. I texted everybody, and they should be. But you know what? You know what you have to do? You have to tip your hats to the Democrats. I mean, these guys and girls play to win. And let let me just break it down really fast. They tried cheating in 2016 with Russian collusion, right? Hillary, DNC, FBI. And for four years, we had to hear their bullshit. It didn't Mm -hmm. stick. So they cheated again in 2020. They used COVID uh, to make people vote from home. Then they had the FBI at Twitter, 81 of them, uh, suppressing stories. Hunter Biden, Joe Biden, his his business dealings with China and Ukraine. Then, this is brilliant, January 6th happens. They know it's going to happen. The chief of police, Stephen Sun, said... I, we had death threats. We knew it was going to be bad. They ignored all of it, including uh, Pelosi and Schumer. They let shit hit the fan. They had uh, Capitol Police shooting rubber bullets. They made this violence happen, and then they went after everybody, and they're using it against Trump. Pat, say what you want about these guys. They don't play. They, they go for it. you got to tip your hat off to them. Imagine Look they put they, this much effort into actually fixing the country. Exactly. They don't have time for that. They just want the power. This this thing is hanging by a thread. Um, let me tell you something about the Colorado State Supreme Court. Colorado State Supreme Court is one of the liberal and politicized state Supreme Courts in the nation. And yet they were only able to squeak out a 4-3 decision. This is not 6-2. Excuse me, that's 9. So this is... On uh, six seven, one, six one. This is not six one. This mm-hmm. is not five two. This is four three. They were barely able to get themselves to the edge to do this. Number one, this number two that doesn't cover them, but they but they have alignment with the Ninth Circus. The Ninth Circuit is known as the Ninth Circus. It is the most overturned mm-hmm. um, uh, appellate court. In the United States, it's based in California, but it covers the entire West Coast and not Colorado. But there's alignment between them. The key player in all this is the United States Solicitor General, who is going to hear this in short order and determine whether the Supremes take it up. And I don't believe that this was anything other than the Democratic Party working with Colorado Supreme and trying to get this over the edge to get it, quote, out there. I believe that's what's happening here. And I believe if this goes to U.S. Supreme, it dies six. It, it dies by a wider margin. Yeah. Than well, by the way, fully agree with you, Tom. At the end of the day, this is going to go to the Supreme Court where, where there's a what a six, three Republican majority over there. I mean, this look, whether you're a fan of Trump or not a fan of Trump, at the end of the day, this should be sort of uh Shocking to see that you can eliminate someone from a ballot. By the way, this affects the primary, which I think in Colorado is in March, I want to say. March. Uh, so at that yeah. point, yeah, March 5th, I want to say. So at that point, they're, already, they're already going to have Iowa. They're going to have New Hampshire. They're going to have, I think, a ton of states vote March 5th. But 
look, I'm not happy to see this. You know I'm not the biggest fan of Trump, but I do believe that he should be at least qualified to run for election. Uh, and um, I, I, not a fan of what's going on here. And, and any all my Democratic friends out there, whether you hate Trump, want to see Trump, it's a, you, 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 he hasn't been found guilty of anything yet no. in the federal court. This is called cheating. So, yeah, the, this the, is called actively so, but cheating. Now, now, like, Democrats are like, how? Oh, wow, I don't understand what's going on. This is why when Republicans say this is election interference, it's like, kind of sees that way. Yeah, I love this. And can, 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 can I ask you a question? Yeah. I know uh, I have a friend, and I don't know if you know this, and I have a friend named Patrick Red David. He wrote a book called Choose Your Enemies Wisely. I just almost finished reading oh. it. Yeah, pretty good book. I want to ask you a question. Do you think that Trump chose his enemies wisely in the sense of, Patrick, the uh, DOJ, FBI, the, when he came out and said, I'm going to drain the swamp and went out there, do you think that was a wise choice, meaning he just had to do it to do it to wake everybody up or because it's backfiring right now? What do you think? I, I think this is fantastic because – there are certain enemies you don't make it this obvious that you're willing to get this dirty to do it. And Democrats are saying we're willing to do anything and everything to prevent this guy from running. It shows insecurity. It shows fears. It shows lack of confidence. It shows mm -hmm. gamesmanship. It, it shows so many different things. You don't have to be a fan of this guy to mm -hmm. – you can hate Trump and say, dude, this is a little bit uh, weird. By the way, uh, to know this, this isn't the first time you know this has happened in 1860 – when Lincoln was running, he was running against the Democrat. And guess what happened in 1860? Mm. Ten states Lincoln wasn't on the ballot on. Ten states wow. who were pro-slavery states. They were afraid of what Lincoln was going to do. The Democrats in 1860 were like, oh, shit. If this guy wins, do you – go ahead and open this and read this up. Re open it up. If you can just zoom in a little bit, Rob. 1860 U.S. election. Uh, on Tuesday or something. In a four-way contest, Republican ticket Abraham Lincoln and Hannibal Hamlin absent from the ballot in 10 slave states. 10 slave states. So I can't win a state, slave state, blue state, slave state. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Slave state. Won a national popular and then next thing you know, they end up destroying the entire thing, becoming president. Look what the score ends up being. 303 to what? 152. Wow. Can you go a little bit to the right, Rob? 303 members of electoral, 152. 82% they end up winning. They are so scared of something like this <laughs> happening. <laughs> they are fearing the results of what could potentially end up taking place here. So you think he chose them? So you think he chose I, I don't know what they're doing. I, I, you know, from the standpoint of when you're trying to beat somebody, when you're willing to cheat to beat them, you're showing the public your cards too much. But mm. it's like they're not embarrassed. Of, they're not shy hiding it from yeah, anybody. Yeah, but, but, th but this is – in no playbook is this a good strategy. Exactly. I want to see this at the Supreme Court because it, this decision will corner – Kagan and Sotomayor, because they are very big on voting rights and liberal broad access to vote. They are huge on it. And it will force those two yeah. women to, if you want to, they may say, well, I'll vote no because it's going to pass 6 3 anyway because of, mm -hmm. you know, Comey Bryant and, and, and everybody else that's there. And, and, you know, the Supreme Court, John Roberts, is going to carry it. I want to see how they vote on it because Kagan in particular is very concerned. She always has been about retaliatory, uh, the, uh, justice, uh, the, you know, the um, uh, retaliatory justice. She's very concerned about that. She was really revved up about that on the, uh, the Roe v. Wade decision that came out. I want to see it get to the Supremes because I, I bet that America will be surprised at what they see um, the vote. I think all they're doing is they're just strengthening Trump. The other side. I agree. But is it That's but is it a, tactic? But yeah. do you think but it's there's a, a tactic? Bigger, though, next five moves, Pat. There's a bigger game that gets played. But do you think that, that you think that that's yeah. their tactic though? Because they have something bigger up their sleeve. I don't trust. Nah. They're they're relentless, bro. They don't stop at you, anything. You, you know, it would be super interesting. What? Because even if he's not on the ballot, which I believe he will, because I believe the Supreme Court will mm -hmm. overturn this. But Hopefully. let's just play this game. Go ahead. How crazy would it be if he's left off the ballot? Uh, and there'd be there'd have to be some grassroots campaign. But he wins by write-in votes. Oh, of course. I mean, you go to vote yeah. in the primary. You, all right, I got Christy. I got Haley. I got my guy Vivek. My guy I got DeSantis. I'm just going to write in Trump. Imagine if oh, wow. that they just wrote in Trump hey, and Harambe he still he could do it. won. Yeah, exactly. Right. So just, I mean, don't rule that out. Like, it's not like he doesn't have name recognition in Colorado. Yeah, we're entering into the absurd. A long, long right. time ago, there was a movie where, was it Richard Pryor? He ran as the candidate, and he named himself None of the Above. <laughs> <laughs> That's, <laughs> so That's so funny, Tom. That's Rob, great. can you pull up?